Okay. Another try, I guess. I don't know at this point. Uh, if if the um, if the game still try to burn my GPU, I'm just not gonna. I don't know why even that the game try to burn my GPU. Like it gets to ninety degrees. That's ridiculous. It gets to ninety degrees. Also, yeah, the Gryffindor character get to the the house specific quest so it would be nice because after this one if i don't continue i will still be able to see all four houses um house specific quests i guess so yeah so apparently i'm supposed to go to see the early headless snake so yeah let us see let's see how hard the game try would try to kill my GPU. I kind of want to finish Doom Internal because I haven't played DLC two and you know I never really play Doom because I never do the weapon switch and stuff. I just kai and kai and kai. So yeah, I mean I I I basically get everything this game has to offer already. So. If I finish this quest, if the game still try to kill my GPU, I'm just gonna call it. Uh, you there? Uh, so. Yes, you. I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. Why do we want to meet here? My, why can't we like meet, for example, in the common room? You, you know. See me, sir. Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and it's missing pages. I may be able to Why help. does everybody uh, know? It's not too far. Why why does everybody know? Wait. How do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages. Revelli word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Only Your secret safe with me. What are you spinning for? Also, this is like only Peeves was there. That's not exactly, um, you know, that's not exactly um, Ghost. He supported guys. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take Why you to are we so kind as talking to small favor for me along the way in the open? Why are we talking about this in the Small open? Also, this is my wand. Yes, it's nothing really. <laughs> this is a cool wand. You could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. <laughs> this is an interesting <laughs> stuff. I don't know which game this is from, so. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. Lumos. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Wait, wait, I Ugh. wonder if... I suppose I can do that, but why me? It's simple, my young friend. My Let ghost so. form cannot carry it. I wonder, I wonder if the mod maker make... makes sure the magic comes from the tip of the staff. Because this seems to be way... The light bulb seems to be way... Longer than the normal staff point, so... I think the mod maker will actually make sure the light come from there. Now, which is cool. If be so kind as Rebellion. Beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. So you need to go in with the Gryffindor. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Here, pear. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mm, I'm already imagining sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. That's it? He just direct you to Jackdaw? You never will in the kitchen. Students. What could be delicious food and what fun? 
Thank you. The job be easier. <laughs> Revelio. Hmm. Rotten beef. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Oh, a student? Finky. What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Mick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Hmm. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and, of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Finky supposes not. However, Finky has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her Helga Hufflepuff. has always been a favourite, but the new fangled Arbor Smokies are becoming popular as well. It's weird that is it all right the GPU stay at 60 degrees for so well, long. Since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. I don't Come think... Back anytime why, you please. Why would you rarely get visitors if students can just come in here randomly and get whatever food they want? Why would they not come here to get random food? You know? Why? 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 It was nice to meet you. Why Thank would you for the beef. visitors be rare well. at all? And to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Hmm. Revelio. There's nothing like a meal prepared by a house elf. Lightsaber. It smells glorious in here. Will you have another thing? Oh, it's I think it's the Hufflepuff thing. Right? Oh, it's the upstairs. Whatever. A beginner's guide. You're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind out for Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? But Jackdaw still has his head, though. I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is, uh, in a way, 
You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Offering the beef to Patrick may help me in that regard. While, of course, also helping you. Imagine spending hundreds of years trying to, to get into the headless gang, but failing. What am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however, in no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Is the headless hunt dangerous? Oh, the headless hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving headless ghosts. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Headless hunt. Well, I mean, yeah, Jack Dog get chopped. The head get chopped off, though. Do stay behind me. It's a Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the Headless Hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Eh, uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why? Here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut-tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. Well, at least Nick is helpful. He's a nice guy, at least. What? Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. What? You just... Oh my god, you just... This is so dumb. Why would you cut off the Jackdaw dialogue if you pick that up? <sighs> what I oh me. my god. It's a Patrick we want. Okay. Wait. My mortal life was never this entertaining. What? Find a headless hunt game. Wait, what about the? If the headsman could only see me now. Hasn't been anyone as bad as what? Who 
we'll be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins. Okay. Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, the no, pumpkin just randomly you appear. You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? Hmm. Why are you using Jackdaw's head for this game? Well, if you must know, Jackdaw's our newest member, so we like to put him through his paces. Please, could you explain the rules again? Find his head amongst the pumpkins five times. Use your wand. I cannot be more specific than that. How did you happen to become a member of the Headless Hunt? I was executed alongside some fellow mutineers. We didn't like the way things were being run in our county, so we took matters into our own hands. Treason is such a strong word, but that's what we were found guilty of. Things would have turned out much better if they'd let me be in charge. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you but find But you can stick your times. head into the pumpkin to find the head. Begin! Cut. And then I will be the one to clean Incendio. up this mess. Discovered already! Whatever you say, Dumfrey, this is not my finest moment. That ghost. Oh, what fun! A stingless plan! You can't use Incendio. Incendio. And the head. Well, I mean, they are headless, but that just means. But that just means. Their head can separate from their body. It doesn't mean they cannot find their head. What? 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 Oh. Here we go again. Wait, I don't even see his head. Okay, so apparently that moves. So... I don't see his head. This ain't over yet. And then I won't be the one to clean up this mess. Greetings. Oh, what fun. A stick. Hmm? Young huh? Jackdaw's no match for you. Huh? Oh, a lady up there. I've never seen it played like this. Revelio. Delightful. Oh, Revelio even finds. I don't Give see his right head. Oh, he bring the head. But I don't see. Welcome. Come on in. Where was I? Huh. Oh, yes. Well done. Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Well, if you're just finding a moving <laughs> pumpkin, then the wand is now, not. Say what you need to say to old Jack Doria, hmm? You've earned it. 
Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. Okay. What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains, if I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? He likes adventure, huh? Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for, specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Oh, right. Books, I remember now. Bottles, suits of armor. He just found it. Whatever's likely to cause Instead of stealing chaos. from Peeves. I found them after he ran riot through the library. Doubt he even noticed they were gone. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Yeah, but but the map. Why would you find the map there? So if you just pick up the map, you don't even need to do any. Huh? Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to. Oh, it's another store. Oh, it's another quest. Okay, never mind. It's another quest. Oh, you need Experiamus, right, okay. Anyway, so that is the Gryffindor safe, so. That is the Gryffindor quest. Yeah, I guess we see all that this game is over. Now the question, it doesn't go crazy with the temperature, so I really hope it can stay that way. I, I'm not sure. Because because it does get to 90 degrees when I do the Merlin trial activation thing. So I'm just hoping if I'm just oh, hoping yeah. the 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 temperature going insane what is caused by memory leak or something, so... So you don't actually... Wait, when do I get 25 potions? Wow. That Pippin should have been here by now. <sighs> Light and okay. I don't think it matters, but Ah. Ah. That's cool. That's cool. 
it glows. I'm not sure if that if the mod is causing the the problem though. Revelio. But then again, it's also getting 90 degrees when I play the Gryffindor character, which doesn't is not even using. It's not even using the. That Pippin should have been here by now. The texture, so. Always late, that Pippin. The fact that it it get oh you just you just steal it from her. Madame Luang, I have a delivery from yeah, you just Pippin's steal potions. it from her. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your bro them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Satisfied? You, you think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. I'd rather not, but if you insist, so be it. Oh my I god. <laughs> this is... This is... It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well... I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not such a chance. Ha! That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? This will do just fine. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate. Well, so far the temperature didn't go crazy, so not bad, I guess. Oh my god, I guess too many thing. Wait, I solved the secret to the treasure, man. What did I? What? Okay, it's fine. Fine. We can even go do the flight test. Focus endurance maxima. Uh, delivery. Okay. How much money do I have again? Oh, I can buy stuff. Uh, okay. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Uh, I don't like the pig. I don't like the pig tail like thing. Yeah, top head. I mean, yeah, this one is pretty good. 
pretty fitting for for the garlic here. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be. Oh, I need to buy the recipe from him. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. It's only three invisibility potions. She's gonna ask for more now. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Cambridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? Yeah, you just steal it from her. You, you literally just steal it from her. You should keep it. She doesn't deserve to have it. I appreciate what you're saying, but you have much to learn about respecting the property of others. Some things are sacred amongst potioneers. I shall return it to her immediately. Yeah, you need to go to her anyway, huh? So what you can ended I do up for you today. You so you ended up needing to go to her anyway. So I need Maxima. Okay. <sighs> oh well, I don't need the invisibility potion anyway, but. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. How much money I have again? Did I already get the money from him? Okay, five hundred for you today. Oh, I'm so close. Huh. Well, I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Oh, follow the butterflies. Get that. Leviosa. Hmm. Okay. We turn to on. Yeah, we, we can just finish more quests so the list doesn't go crazy, I guess. What? Give me the... Oh my god. Give me the... <laughs> teleport. On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. I'm not sure that's worthy of a painting. You'd be surprised at how art can touch people. I think it's well worthy. Thank you again for all of your help. Ah, oh, that's a terrible helmet. Follow the butterflies. Imelda. Cross wands. Oh, okay, that's easy. Yeah, let's do that too.
I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Huh? There they are. She wasn't making it up. I mean, <laughs> there's butterflies We're in the forest. Miss Willardsey might get an answer about these What do you mean? You get butterfly in the forest. Of course she's not making it up because that's a normal thing to appear. Wait until you, you find something, you know? Oh, you Lumos also. Oh, why does the. Oh, wow. Well, look what we have here. Wait. That doesn't. Oh, if you use that, the Lumos. The Lumos is off center if you use that. Sadly. Well, we don't use Lumos that much, so I guess it's acceptable. <sighs> yeah, okay. Yeah, you don't, you don't see it properly anyway, so... Hmm, we can... Fox meet again. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Again. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterfly. Hello, Miss Willizzi. Well, what happened? Willizzi. Did you find them? Apparently, if you don't tell her anything, I, I tried that with this leadering character. If you don't tell her anything, she just think the, the, the low reason is being, oh, you just don't want her to be feel like she's missing out, so. I did. Yeah. And I followed them into the forest, but I'm afraid there was nothing to see. Oh, oh, I see. So apparently, yes, I'm grateful in your own journal, you say very brave of you, you really? write, well, thank you. you don't want her to you disappoint, care, so. What you endure us? Oh. Okay, assignment done. Oh, I haven't even chomping Congress. Oh, come on. You can't do Wicked and Well Potion. Acquire oh, and use. Okay. Finished. 
Greenhouse. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Pavelio, please be included. to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Boulder? I don't think you can do that, but okay, whatever you say. I don't want to talk to her yet, I want to... Get her head before talking to her. Feel free to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Cool. Shelving off the lease. Flight test. Yeah, this guy. Where is he? Oh, Gobstone, right. Duncan. Pop skin problem? Where is the... Uh... Yeah, sometimes my... It is weird. Sometimes my 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 PC case is really hot, but but the the detect the temperature of the hardware detected is not that high. So I'm not sure which one to trust. Made any progress with your treasure map? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Oh, Mine it's that one, the okay. House. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shoot me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join sometimes, me. Sometimes, sometimes when the when the well, the, on to the next Hogwarts. When the software shows, it is just seventy degrees. But the but the PC case is like really hot. But sometimes it show like like the last section it shows 80, 90 degrees with the GPU, but the case is not that hot. So I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. Obviously, I will have no idea what the hardware actually, how hot the ho hardware actually is. I only rely on the software to detect it. But, but the case temperature when I, when I touch it, is very interesting to say the least. You know.
because it only shows 60 70 degrees but when you touch the case it's like really really hot I think I want Lavio Soul before I mean uh Arohamora before before getting it. Lucan, I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That would be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Don't you think you're too young? It was only a training dummy. True, but it's a difficult dummy. Believe me, I know. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. Other duelists had better beware. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Crossed Ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I'm gonna spam I potion. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? I'm just gonna spam yes, my Sebastian. potion. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. What the fuck? Wiccan Well Potion. You won the tournament. That was nothing. I'm just getting started. 
If the best duelists in the school weren't enough competition, yeah, they are four against two. They're four against two. Now, to two. the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. They should really get another cross one when you learn all the spells. They should really do that. Thank you. They should it's really beautiful. get get you another cross it. one no, when you learn all the spells. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. The best duelist won, I suppose. You can't be B, can you? Shame it's over. I was just getting started. Lost to a new student? Hmm, I didn't see that coming. Yeah, four against two. No new stuff, huh? Yeah, the adventurer. This looks like the, the adventurer, you know, outfit. Okay, what's next? Flight test, I guess. Could you remind me how the did Oh. Can I just fly there? <coughs> Revelio. Oh, hi. And then you have a, a stealth chest here. Okay, where is the key? That's slow as fuck though. Okay, where's the... It's up here, right? Wait, where? I remember there's like one here. Give me the 500 coins, I do need it. Where's the stupid coin? Here? Revelio. Burning looks cool. Oh, is that summoner's card? Well, I guess we can do that too. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of summoner's court. 
I think it's time you, you just lose to course one outside so. of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game, it's a battle of skill, a test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court, the ever changing game. Akio. What? Oh, you're cheating. <laughs> you're cheating. All in the wrist. Ah, oh, that's bad. That was one for the ages. Akio. That's bad. Oh, that's bad. To beat that. That's bad. What? No. Well, maybe, maybe it's enough to win. Maybe it's enough to win. Maybe I'm enough to win. Nothing to it. Well, good enough. Yeah, lucky shot. Well done. You beat me. Incendio. Bit of good luck. That's all. I'm not lucky. I'm simply better than you. All right, fine. You're right. You're better than me. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Leander, there's no easy way to say this. Oh my well, god. Actually, there is. You can. You're not cut out for it. You well, can you really. Could have found a harder way to say it. <laughs> but perhaps you're right. I'll let you, the others you're know you're good enough. You're really for going hard, huh? Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Imelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class. But I'm good. In. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one Enough way of to this. find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. Slytherin, huh? Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course Your demands fifth year focus. Too. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Stop calling me Actually, that. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Success! 
Ah, oh, success! What do you mean? Ah, oh, success! Wait, is this new? I don't think this happened before. With the with the broom, the yellow thing beside the broom. Oh well, I'm bad. Should be enough to beat though. Made it. Wait, was that icon always there, or was I crazy? I don't remember the the yellow balls filling up the icon of the broom icon because that would mean because this would mean getting all three is actually needed it would mean getting all three is actually needed huh this is rather fun hmm Don't go crazy. How would you like to learn the knockback jinx flippendo? Once oh. you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. Ugh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Ugh. Fine, you won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Yeah, Surely yeah, yeah. win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I'm just never... I don't want respect from the likes gonna of you. Get All you do respect. is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway... I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. Revelio. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fed. Oh my god, what's this? The lighting. Uh you really want you really want the demigod's moon first huh flux with oh okay we turn okay we can do that too i guess we want the upgrade fucking let me Oh, you're back. With something to report, I am. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. 
Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevic had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Soon, huh? Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Oh, wait. New Thanks stuff. For stopping by. Hope to see you again. Oh, it's this. Ah, this one is pretty cool too. And it's green. And then you have this. Ah, you do have this one. Ah. Ooh, the female version is also pretty cool, huh? Yeah, the female version is also pretty cool, but... Yeah, it is pretty cool. Anyway, bathroom time, be right back.
Okay, let's see. Yeah, we can do this for a while. That's pretty cool. The coach is pretty damn cool. Oh, 2k, right. Uh, I need... Wait, when do we get 2k already? Huh? We need to go to Pippins. We need... Wait, do we? Or do we want to go here, actually? Do we even have enough money? Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Oh, right. I'm so close to... to get 3k. Let's look at what we have, shall we? I do need this, to be honest. Five small. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let's go back to room of requirement. Yeah, this time is like it's barely 60 degrees, but the, the, with the GPU, but the computer case is like really, really hot. So, are you serious? Wink and well potion? This will be more useful when I have something to identify. Huh. Oh. What do I need again? Oh, right. All three. Do I have all three? I think I do, right? No, I... Well, I do. <clears throat> you need mandrake oh right that is medium so okay Five pots. Peapot. We got five peapots. Can we get like a... Oh, for fuck's sake. What do you mean wonderful? I don't need as much space to put the to put the well, I would say putting it in the middle would be cool, I would say. You know? Right down the middle. 
Uh, except it's not really the middle. You need quite a lot of magic. That's surprisingly centered. Pretty good, pretty good. Wait, can you? Oh, you can. You can access that, though. Yeah, well, you need some space in between, so and you can go. Closer, just not too close. Why are you? Here then. Mellow wheat. Cold grass. Mandrake. Cold grass. Mellow seed. Okay. That looks good. Because you need to sustain the usage. I'm gonna spend more plants, I think. So. Can you not snap? Yeah, like this. You can even closer. Can you just not snap in, but at the same time keep your distance? Can you not? <sighs> I hate you. Oh my god, what are you... <sighs> That's still too... Ugh.
can you just not? Oh my god, I don't want you to. I need you to line up, but I don't want you to snap in. I fucking hate. I don't understand why they need to do this. I just can't understand why they need to do this. Can, can this work? Can this fucking work? Mm hmm. <sighs> I can, I can make this work. I can make this fucking work. That's better. That's better. It's okay. You're gonna get the big pot here. I don't think I have the medium cord yet. Yeah, it's just a single. Okay. Yeah, we can go learn for Pando, I guess. She's thinking about new plans, huh? I finished the activities you signed me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful! I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light Chin grip, up. and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. Wonderfully done! If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just oh, do I have talent? Find the plants, please. Ah, give me that. Damage duration. Huh. Invisibility. Oh, you need level 22 for that, huh?
dark arts. Yeah, this is way too OP though. Yeah, this too is way too OP, so... Flipando. Focus potion. Can I get the moons now? Professor Fix classroom. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Eldritch Diggory's portrait in the common room told me about his great niece, Helen. His great niece? Yes, she used to be an aura. Well, she took me to Azkaban to meet Anne Thisby. You went to Azkaban? Quite an experience, but you see, Anne knew Richard Jackdaw before he died. So I had to find his ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did, and because Jackdaw had followed yeah. the map they contained, mm -hmm. when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Like, Professor Fig is like, I, I just went away for a few days, and then the student is doing everything herself. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham? I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the room? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Yeah, oh, you. Peeves. When you really look at it, when you really look at it, you're gonna realize. The spell come out somewhere off center, but if you if you give up the glow, if you give up the glow, then that it works perfectly. Oh well, what can I say? To think it was beneath us all this time. After a day of raining is finally the temperature of the air is finally dropping a bit. Unlike my computer is being hot as fuck. This looks promising. Forest, and of course, Hog 
quartz. It's magnificent. You recognize Hawksmith first before Hogwarts. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal, as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. I still don't really you understand the memory Deathly Hallows part. I still don't really understand about the Deathly Hallows part though. <clears throat> You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key, and of trials you'd created for one who sees traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The, the trials, trials were designed are kind to of ensure bad. that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into how, the wrong hands. How does they will it test your abilities both do that? innate and learned? How does it but do that? But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, I don't. in the light of your considerable skill <laughs> I don't. What, and what all happens you have already you accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems <laughs> abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. Can I tell garlic? It is 
an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. Okay. Oh, focus Massima Endurus. Oh, right. Focus Massima, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I do. Oh, dung ball. I do need. Oh my god. You do need that, huh? Oh, you need dung ball. Ten second. <clears throat> Need dung ball. Um. Yeah. We don't need it now, so. Let's go to the tower, I guess. All the way up there. Well, we can go grab some dung ball then, I guess. Do I need to do that now? Yeah, we can, we can come back. We don't need to have that now. Okay. Hogwarts is very lucky they've got protection, Charm. I heard something, you the... What have you done? Marvelous strike! Accio. It doesn't what it doesn't even oh it doesn't even why why would why would the potato do so much damage to him? That means Merlin trial. And we find butterfly. Revelia. Confringo. 
Velio. Confringo. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Rebellion. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Incendium! Reducto! Incendium! Let me also. Ah. Reducto! Not out now! Why? Why? Do I keep getting this bug? Why do I keep getting this bug, man? I keep getting the, the animation glitch. my <clears throat> thing here oh come on I don't want to trade okay where's the butterflies are you serious right now where's my butterfly I tell you made a mistake They did so easily die to four damage. What do you mean stupefy? Oh, this. Okay. Incendio. Incendio. Ah. 
Shame. Shame. Okay, where the fuck is the butterflies? <sighs> butterflies are gone. Oh, hi. Turns out it's not gone. Nice. Pavelio. Dwellings. Wait, you, you can mandrake here? What? You can randomly get mandrake? That works. Rebellion. The chicken can run in there, huh? You only get you only get the um, traits. You never get conjurations. And when did I set my? Incendio! Belly armor! 
What? Holy! That guy's not He's even dead. Better days? Could it be a Merlin trial? Revelio. You fucking... You just sly all. Oh, what? Ugh. Is this the one that needs flip handle? Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Oh, this is a ball. Well, never mind. Oh, you don't have the power so. But it's fine. We still get it. Still works. What? Oh my god. Do you have anything for sale? That I do, but uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. Oh my god. Nice to break the routine. It's starting to burn up. Bit He's of starting a to burn up. Myself, in fact. He's starting to burn up. The name's Leopold Babcock. And I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden got Forest to 80 without degrees. a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. 80 degrees. Insane. And what do you have for... Well, not exactly 90. See if there's something you need. It's just 80. Well, I mean, just 80. Uh. I shall hope to do business with you again. 81. Oh my god, I need to get away from him. Yeah, it, it seems like That's if you talk to an NPC for too long, you just start... Start going ape shit. Oh, 
Velio. Oh my god, he's burning up. But why though? I'm gonna I'm gonna reload. Something has to be wrong. Something has to be wrong with those. I'm gonna reload again. Something has to be wrong when they start burning up. Your blood is on Rainrock's hands. Incendio. What do you have in store for me this time? What are you up to now? What are you up to now? Wait, where is the... Okay, here. Okay, oh, Petrificus yeah. Totalis. Time. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see. But could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just He's ahead. burning up again. I suggest we investigate I, I don't understand. It's burning up again. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And... Yes, we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. Quickly now. Well done. Um. Who's there? There must be something here. Ramrock said so. Revelio. Oh, there must be something here. Ramrock said so.
Hmm. Uh, there must be something here. Ramrock said so. <laughs> Revelio. Orders directly from Ranrock. These orders indicate that they're after something to do with names. I will draw blood. And why here? Goblins have always been antagonistic towards wizard kind, but this Rebellion. is different somehow. This is it's different weird. somehow. Well. Looks like we found the entrance. Levioso, Accio. It's locked. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Convenient. An unlocking charm. Very handy. No time now, but Can't if we don't learn it I... soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Mr. the moon to teach me instead of you. Imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen an enchantment. Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Hello, Professor. Did you say San Bacar's Tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. What do you We're mean? We're going to, to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. A reservoir of ancient magic. Downstairs, near the entry. Okay, pensive guardian time. Incendio. Confringo. Confringo. Revelio. The first trial. The first time you fight a pensive guardian is actually good. All right. Nice crash. Nice crash.
I should probably be able to finish. What the fuck, bro? It just crashes like that? Oh my god. What do you mean? Huh. I wonder what kind of fuck up is that? Just as I thought I can easily finish the Pensive Guardian. Looks like we found the entrance. What? Oh my god. It's locked. Rebellion. An unlocking charm. It Already Very okay. Handy. No time now, but if you it's already it open. It I place. I don't understand how how can this be already open, but you haven't triggered the event yet. Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Hello, Professor. I. But as Professor, remember, <sighs> we're going to need to one for the moment. <clears throat> that that I. The Reservoir of Ancient Magic. Downstairs, near the entry. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. In before it crash again. Well, we successfully get in. I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. It's the same the style, but it's not the same building. It's clearly not what you've seen before. Impressive. That must have done something. If you don't Let's have a look around. If you don't have ancient magic, you just cannot go through here. Rebellion. of ancient magic something must be different ah okay portal basically these are never a welcome sight at least I know what to expect this time
the keepers planned for me. Revelio. Terrible. But this is like creeping through the stairs, but yeah, that's like terrible loot though. Terrible loot. What? What? No shit. Explore this archway from both sides. Yeah. But yeah, again, they tell you too early. of magic change on both sides of the archway something must be different this is basically alternate universe get used to these floors. Revelio.
I press button. Oh my god. Ah, uh, why? Oh my god. Like why do you glitch like that? Okay. Okay, every single time I get hit, I get stuck. They really shouldn't have you regenerate now outside of combat. What? That works. Also, is there any more I can? Fish spiders. Oh, you get a cloak. Cool. Well, but for now, this one looks cooler. Oh, we got more dress. 
We got ya. Rebellion. Wow. You max out my Wingo Well potion again. I pressed button. Ah, and I is so dumb. Easy. What a relief. Revelio. Another pensive.
but I love the, how the twin tail just pierce through the pensive. Why is the ancient magic always the world around you is always twisting? You know, what are they even doing here? What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The drought was years ago. But the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. How about you don't make pretty pillars? You do so much for your father. Also, already. the pillars are not even pretty. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. But she's gonna take it anyway. Also, why is she not wearing Hogwarts uniform? Well, maybe, yeah, hundreds of years ago, I guess. Every year a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morgana, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to, Professor Rickwood. I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of defense against the Dark Arts, Professor. It's always sit, sit, defense Isidora. against the Dark Arts. Tell us about arts. your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. We never even know what actually happens hmm. if you use that Another power. Memory. Now to find a way out of here. She Isadora only like, you know, Is trying to harness the power, but we never even know what the power can do. She just tried to harness the power by taking the emotions. More crystallized stone. That must be the way back to the map chamber. Isadora only take away the emotion to harness the power, but we don't even know what the power can do. We never even find out. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir, and this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. Have I seen you before? You look familiar, sir. I imagine you saw me in the first pensive you accessed, in Gringotts. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. Wait, you must what, take care to keep this? them safe. You will need oh, right. them to complete the journey we have set forth yeah. for you. Once you make you the wand. You we'll make the wand with those. With Very right. well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter, of course. Now then, 
Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood, do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive... You fire giant Isadora robot. ...became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should This is such a I'm beautiful outfit. I will be honest. Both no the male version and the female Actually, version. I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. And we got him killed. Don't forget my studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go, this coat is so beautiful. Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. <laughs> Such a beautiful outfit. Eh. 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 All right. Oh, right. Okay. And there were more keys. I should ask some Spectacular news! The broom upgrade's ready. Ha! Stop by the shop when you can. Identify, grab the loot, I mean plants, and then yeah. I forgot to use my plan again. Come and see me about a ah, pressing nice. and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. Please see me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you to send useful for pulling objects to the ground. To the ground. Come on, get lucky, bro. Okay, Demi, guys, is the most important one. Oh, what? Oh, you need the puzzle first. Okay. Okay, I roll Hamora. Okay, okay. And then we can even go to the... This. Yeah, it, it tells you it is... Uh, well, I guess the assignment is basically... The assignments is basically main quest. <laughs> But you can delay. But you can delay them. I truly appreciate all of your help. But you can delay them. That's the difference. Oh, I didn't identify. Well, I can't use it anyway. So whatever, I guess. Oh, 
I must tell you, half of Hogsmeade's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? What more can you tell me about the next course? It's just a jaunt from here, south of Oxmead. Beautiful mountain views. The course was designed to test flyer stamina. Some of your classmates mentioned they were headed there, eager to see what Imelda has in store. A bit surprising, considering many of them expressed reticence at the idea of racing against her at all. I hope that won't deter you, and you'll give the course a go. At least think on it. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can. Uh... Do I want to go there yet? Yeah, we want to do this first, for sure. Great Hall. Oh, right, you just sneak into the thing, okay. Okay, uh, yep, that's it for today. It doesn't, it doesn't go to the 80s. Well, I mean, it touched the 80s, but it doesn't go crazy like the last section. So I hope, I hope it's going to do fine. So thank you for joining and I'm going to see you next time. So good morning, good night. Stay derpy and goodbye.